I have a little bit of a different news story to tell you today. This is not something I've really covered on this channel, but this is pretty big news. To be honest, I can't believe this didn't happen about eight years ago or so. This is a story broken by Amiga News DE. Apparently, Hyperion is not only bankrupt, but is in the hands of a liquidator. A company in liquidation would be worse than a company in receivership, at least here in the States. A company in receivership could potentially continue operating. A company in the hands of a liquidator, all assets are being sold off. Amiga News DE writes, Hyperion has been managed by a liquidator since last week. Ben Herman's BV is a private company with limited liability owned by Ben Herman's, which has held 97% of shares in Hyperion since 2019 and acts as a director of Hyperion on paper. In March, bankruptcy proceedings were initiated against Ben Herman's BV for the second time. In the same month, Ben Herman's had already initiated the founding of a new company with the same name. Sidebar, doesn't that sound kind of familiar for the Amiga market? Anyhow, let's continue. As Ben Herman's BV has not published any statutory annual report since 2011, it is currently unclear whether the company still holds the majority shares in Hyperion. Ben Hermans has not responded to an inquiry from Amiga News DE. The appointed liquidator, Charlotte Pierce, tells us she'll get back to us in the next few days with a more detailed response. Now, I'm not going to read every single word for word here, but head over and check out Amiga News DE, which is actually Amiga-News.de. And you can either follow the link or check out the local copy to read the whole thing. But i just like to point out this is happening. It's going forward and it points out who the liquidator is. Now this is just me right here speaking. I want to give my personal opinion on a couple things. Anyone paying attention to the Amiga market after Commodore went bankrupt, note it was a complete mess and stayed a complete mess and has been a complete mess until this day. There are a lot of bad actors in the Amiga market, and I have always seen Ben as one of them. Again, that's my personal opinion. I've argued with him online. It's a long time ago, but that's just a personal opinion, and others might think otherwise. He's obviously not here to defend himself, so I don't want to just completely dogpile. But with my opinion on that, he most certainly would not be the only bad actor in that market. There's a reason the dying embers of that market is no longer even dying embers. It's basically just cold ground at this point. So a lot of questions come up in my head. is like, what is going to happen with the intellectual rights for OS 4? What is going to happen to Amiga OS 3.2? Just a lot of questions. That's it for this video, but go ahead and over to Amiga-News.de. Check out the whole article. And as always, thank you for watching.